All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.2, 2.3, problem number three. All right, so we're going to use the uh, complementary solution, which is just a solution of the, um, the homogeneous equation. So you set the right-hand side equal to zero, then you solve and you get the complementary solution. And the particular solution is a solution that satisfies this different equation. But the, we want to find the, uh, uh, the solution of the initial value problem. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so what we do is uh, we set the solution y to be the uh, sum of the co um, complementary solution, so y sub c, and also the particular solution. All right, the reason why we can do that is that uh, this uh, sum is always going to satisfy this differential equation. All right, so uh, this is going to be, um, all right, so it's going to be C1 uh, cosine of X plus uh, C2 sine of X, and uh, Y sub P particular solution is 3X, all right? Then what we want to do is um, we just have to check these um, initial value conditions. So here's one, and here's another one. All right, so let's check the first one here. All right, uh, so y, sub, uh, y of zero, so you plug in zero for x, then what you get is going to be cosine of zero is one, so you have C1, and the sine of zero is zero, and then uh, three times zero is zero, so C1. So this has to be equal to, right, the initial condition says it has to be equal to 2. All right, so now we know that the C1 is equal to 2. Then we take the derivative of y, all right? Then we get the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so it's a negative C1 uh, sine of x, and the plus C2, all right? Derivative of sine is cosine of x, all right? Then derivative of 3x is 3, all right? Then we use the uh, second uh, initial value condition. So when you plug in uh, x equals 0 into the y prime function, we get, all right, sine of 0 is 0, so it goes away. Cosine of 0 is 1, so you get the c2 uh, plus 3. And we're supposed to get uh, negative 2 from there. All right, so this means that uh, we can simply um, add, uh, sub subtract 3 to get the C2 value, which is going to be negative 5. All right, then what you can do is uh, put uh, 2 uh, for C1 and put the negative 5 for C2. All right, so therefore... Uh, y solution of the initial value problem would be uh, 2 cosine of x minus 5 sine of x plus 3x. All right, so that's what we have here. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.